finally, an anime I can get behind. And I do mean behind. As in the butt. It's been a while since I sat down and did Sage's job, and the last time I did, it had me shaking my head in dismay. To think, a female character that made me not want to have sex with her. Not to say I have low standards or anything, but I've been known to give open drain pipes the old hairy eyeball. But it seems Sage was feeling sorry and decided to throw me a bone with this delightful little show about a naked woman fighting other naked women while having mind-bending sex with each other. Just like the stories I had growing up. Now it must be said that I've never seen this... Uh, angel blade before. But I can already tell that this is a show after my own heart. It's only a shame that I can't see the bountiful, bouncing beauties without seeing this weird blue man thingy. My name is Censor Kaiser. And what are you supposed to do? I censor. Oh, so you're an asshole then. Listen, Bennett already told me all about you and your man whoredom. If you ask me, it was a mistake letting you take helm for this episode. I already have my job cut out for me dealing with Obari's sex fantasies. I don't need you to make it any harder. But if not me, then who else would Sage get to host this review? Believe me, we tried looking elsewhere. To less than helpful results. <gasps> 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 Oh! That's it! I'm having a... Nobody should have that many dicks! Oh, well, that's okay, buddy. Not quite anime month, too. It's right around the corner. You can help us out with that. I'd consider scrapping the whole review if it means having to put up with you and your- OH FOR f SAKE! Are you more boner than man? FOCUS! Look, we either review the hentai or we don't. No sense wasting time arguing it. The lights are already set. We might as well unleash the titties. Fine. But you will not get in the way of my job. But the titties... Will be blocked by me. End of discussion. <laughs> Fine. It's not like I can't see hardcore fucking any old day. Um, you can? How? The internet. You could literally find exabytes of pornography there. Inner what? How you gonna keep them down on the farm after they seen Paris? I don't know much about anime, but just a cursory glance at Mr. Obari's work has made me an instant fan of his. Anyone who finds a way to insert larger-than-life breasts into their art is an artist worth celebrating. But there's also a point to this episode, and it means much more than just bouncing jubblies. My close Personal friend, Axel Braun, said that great porn is followable even if you cut out all the sex. Now, I don't know why you would want to cut out the best part of the movie, but it looks like we're going to be testing out his theory in this episode. I'll do my best to work around the floating asshole, so please bear with me if it seems I'm jumping around the story. Mr. Obabi, for the gifts we are about to receive... I left hand salute you. We begin our story by questioning our sexuality. I'd still hit it. 
I know you can't see what she's packing, so let's just say she's brought the sausages to the party. Dicks! I'm talking about dicks! <laughs> oh god, what was that? It felt so cold. It's called referential humor. It's called go fuck yourself. I don't need clips to do my funny. Blow jobs! Now I know what you are thinking. Three dicks? What's she going to do with three dicks? But the better question to ask is what can she you do with three dicks? I use number two to open my mail personally. It seems our lovely heroine is having dreams of monster dicks, helpless women, and a Valkyrie bitch who gives the finger at female battle attire. Why, I seem to be having a lot of strange dreams lately. Sweetie, wake me up when you start dreaming about the Chiquita Banana Lady fisting the Hamburger Helper glove while Mr. Peanut jerks off onto a waiting green M&M. But it looks like her erotic nightmares are only just beginning, as there are forces plotting and scheming against the girls at her school. Everything is going smoothly. Mistress Phantom is quite satisfied with the quality of the women here. We're honored that you think so, Mistress Nail Kaiser. Mistress Nail Kaiser. No relation. Oh, right. Do you? No, I do not have three dicks! Apparently, Trinailer here is on the lookout for that elusive angel blade, the only gal who can throw a wrench into the gears of her and her boss's plans. Hmm. Looks like Intel is rather in-depth for a high school. How did they get all those compromising pictures of all those nubile women without them noticing? Seriously, how? Yes. This is our university student body president. She's a senior, Group A, student 18. Seryu Tenmyon. She's number one in her class, and the best athlete in the sports she plays. She's the cream of the crop here. A true valedictorian. Wait a minute. Women poop in this universe? Of course, they got the wrong gal figured for Angel Blade. Not that she doesn't rebuke the accusations. Everyone on campus is saying that it might be true. I was hoping it was true, too. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, I always hope that I can be a person who helps strangers. And perhaps as long as you have that thought in your heart, any woman can be as heroic as our savior, Angel Blade. A hero can be anyone, even a man doing something as simple and reassuring as putting a coat around a young boy's shoulders to let him know the world hadn't ended. I wish I could talk to her like that too. Getting your nipples hard over Miss Say to you. Hasumi, take uh, that! Uh, and, uh, and that! Uh, and that! Uh, 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 uh. When she's not ogling the class beauty, it seems our heroine spends her days wearing a fetish maid outfit and waiting tables, as I imagine all women do in their free time. Don't go getting all panicky about it. I can certainly understand your concern, but don't worry. Back in my college days, I was exactly your size, Hasumi. And look at me now. Are you serious? Yes, look at those mammoth majumbos. Like two sandbags hanging off a street sign. If I were her, I'd look into getting a second spine grafted. Sorry for the delay. I'm really thankful for you, Hasumi. Her mother died when she was just an infant, and then her father went missing. She was so withdrawn and had no friends, and when a distant relative like me had to take her, I really didn't know how she'd adjust. Don't care. Get to the fucking. But Ayame, what is it you think these monsters want anyway? I mean, there's no point in attacking humans. We can't even fuck. bear their offspring. Please, Not necessarily. Fuck. 
Pretty please with fucking sugar on fucking top and fucking rainbow jimmies, just fuck. The DNA patterns are very close to that of human beings. Please, please get to the fucking. My wish almost comes true is try Naylor as the class president cornered and is about to launch her attack when one of the police girls comes barging in dressed like something I sort of remember from a video game, I think. But how safe are they, since tri has the power of dick? Get out of here! Reminds me of the time I got my cast off in high school. They're still trying to rebuild. This, of course, leads to many scenes I cannot show you, but uh, trust me, it's, uh, it's pretty great. That is, until our heroine joins the depraved orgy uninvited. To her credit, though, I do love to watch her work. Unfortunately, a good thing only lasts so long. Am I still dreaming? Oh, oh, oh no! Why am I dressed like this? <gasps> And these tits! Why are they so big? Because Mr. Obari knows what's best for you, sweet cheeks. Now stop looking that gift horse in the mouth and pull out the saddle. It turns out that whenever this beauty turns into the lovely warrior Angel Blade, she loses all of her memories of the encounter, as if another person takes over her body. Meanwhile, our nefarious vixens plot their schemes, their target now having a face. How far can she battle against our children, the Geobloods? Right, Nail? Chloe. Elaine. <laughs> Wait. I think Sage left me a note about this clip. Don't forget to mention that girl in that last shot was ripped directly from the taint misbehaving girl from Voltage Fighter Go Kaiser. God, can you believe the shit Obari tried to pull? I believe that boy Sage has issues. The girls manage to get back to a sense of normalcy, but the class president needs to settle herself with our heroine. I didn't mean to make you remember. I'm sorry. So I wasn't the only one who was afraid that night. Just fuck already! Uh, I'm not really sure how to answer that. It was so dark and uh, I passed out too. So you don't really know either. Too bad. Too bad! Really too bad! Hapless nerds, meet your Rule 63. Of course, the class president is still unsatisfied with the encounter and tries to find that one cop who attempted to save her, but she runs into these dangerously sexy nurses. My cop runneth over. But the show decides to pull the drag chute and focuses on character development. Ugh, the only filthy word in porn. Why, why on earth do I have to be Angel Blade? I don't want to be that scared again. <laughs> Mama? Objection! Sustain. Moena, don't blame your father. He loves you more than anyone. More than anyone. But I don't. I don't understand. Then why did Daddy leave me? How could he? Honey, I'm sure your dad loved you. Why else would he turn you into a giant-tittied fetish warrior? Wait. 
Our heroine knows now what to do, so she better hurry and do it, because the class president is once again held captive, and things are getting downright sadistic. <laughs> How's it feel, having electricity running through your nipples? Well, depends if I'm in the mood or not, or... Oh, <laughs> you were talking to her. Never mind. Also, for your information, this police officer has dyed hair. How do I know? Angel Blade arrives just in time. Well, not to stop them from having their way with the police officer, of course, but to stop them from having it drawn out too long. You can only watch so many scenes of women getting their own urine pumped into their colon before it becomes passé. They take to the streets for their fight, and it seems that in the meantime, Angel Blade has switched voice actresses. Personally, I'm surprised I was able to notice that, because this entire fight scene has the nurses shooting lasers out of their own dicks. The fact that you believe me speaks volumes about this anime. It looks like curtains for Angel Blade, but another scantily clad beauty swoops in for the save, and together manage to chase off the nurses. You look like you're fine, Blade. Uh. I'm Angel Ender. I'm your prototype. No fair! She gets to jerk off, but I don't? You might as well be showing a starving Ethiopian child an episode of Epic Meal Time. Having finished herself off, Tri Nailer decides to update her plans with that man from the beginning. Now that I think about it, there aren't that many male characters in this anime. Not that that's a problem. Apparently, this man wants some more power that only she can give him, to the point he's on his hands and knees. Not only has this guy lost his man card, but I am personally confiscating his penis. He can have it back once he's proven he can handle it. <gasps> it's glowing. The golden pussy. I thought it was only a myth. What's wrong? Don't you want some? You want some of Nail Kaiser's golden juices? Yes. Yes. I'm not sure if I can show you what happens next. You can't! But I am allowed to play the audio. <laughs> and that is how you spell I cup. Invigorated by Tri Nailer's golden shower, the man decides to go after that lovely class president. Now that is the look of a man who knows what he wants. And is also a pedophile. I've waited so long for this party and my bands to be unleashed. I'm sorry, but... Did this guy turn into Charlton Heston for a moment? Not that I know what Charlton Heston sounds like or anything. Of course, Angel Blade appears to try and stop the headmaster turned demonic tentacle beast, but he manages to get the drop on her. Please, don't, don't look at me like this. Leave me alone. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. You've been parading around in this outfit for a long time. You can show this pussy off to the world, but with a 12-foot-tall tentacle monster, it's suddenly a problem. Did this hentai become self-aware? Scared that it might collapse in on itself from the meta-ness, the hentai wraps itself up quickly, having Angel Blade gather her strength and slay the demon. And that was Angel Blade. Why are we still here? What do you want from me? It's a porno. No need to dive too deep into this ocean, though I must admit I'm curious about that angel ender. But Sage assured me that there was a sequel to the series that explains it better. 
and that her design was also ripped from Voltage Fighter Gokaiser. Eh, whatever. Spank material comes and goes as it pleases, and I'm not one to dwell upon it. Well, it's been my pleasure to sit down with you all, but it's time for me to go. Sage will be back next month, and it'll be business as usual. So until then, grab a drink, grab a cigar, and find someone who thinks your dick looks pretty. Life is short enough as it is.